This edition of Titans of History presents the Battle of Agincourt and King Henry V. Henry V was King of England from 1413 until his death at the age of 35. Son of King Henry IV, he was the second English monarch who came from the House of Lancaster. As a young prince, he gained valuable military experience fighting rebellions against his father's enemies. As king, he embarked on war with France in the ongoing Hundred Years' War between the two nations. He claimed the title of King of France through his great-grandfather, Edward III. King Henry first invaded northern France in 1415, following the failure of negotiations with the French. His military success at the port of Harfleur led to his famous victory at Agincourt and saw him come close to conquering France. The Battle of Agincourt was a major English victory that took place on St. Crispin's Day. Henry led his troops into battle and participated in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. This battle is notable for the use of the English longbow in very large numbers, with English and Welsh archers forming most of Henry's army. The battle is the centerpiece of the play Henry V by William Shakespeare. Henry's astonishing victory at Agincourt against the numerically superior French army crippled and demoralized France. After long negotiations with the French King Charles VI, the Treaty of Troyes recognized Henry as regent and heir apparent to the French throne, and he was subsequently married to Charles's daughter, Catherine of Valois. Following Henry's sudden and unexpected death in France two years later, he was succeeded by his infant son, who reigned both England and France as Henry VI. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation and look forward to sharing history with you again soon.